So, Kels is back. What's up? We missed her last time. I didn't really know what to talk about. I was kind of lost without you. I won't lie. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> she was over playing Fortnite. I was. She is addicted to Fortnite at the moment, guys. I am. Like, it's bad. No, it is. Like, we'll be walking around in public and she'll be like, I just saw like a, a gun over there. Or she'll be like, I just saw a... The chug splash. The chug splash. I don't know what on earth that is. <laughs> what that means but she will literally hallucinate it yeah she'll be like i just saw the the fortnite footsteps yeah sometimes i close my eyes and i see like the little footsteps or like my health bar or something i'm just i can't wait to play it while you edit this yeah like she's addicted i cannot get her off it like i've never seen her like this with a game (laughs) it's like bad it's concerning guys help me (laughs) my like a 12 year old boy literally (laughs) it's like Today she was like, oh, yeah, I don't remember what exactly you said, but you were like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Fortnite is a game for kids. Uh, I mean, like, at, at, oh, yeah. fully grown adults. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fully grown adults. That's you were me. probably competing against, like, a bunch of 12-year-olds. No, there's a lot of people that play that are older. Really? I watch them on YouTube. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, no. It's for kids, too. Oh, no, guys. You know how a few episodes ago we spoke about relationship icks? <laughs> oh. Should I bring Fortnite into that? Absolutely not. Should I bring those eyebrows you did the other day oh, into yeah, this? No, yeah, let's, let's bring that up. Okay, yeah. I have an addiction at the moment to doing weird eyebrows and seeing if Kels notices them. I like it. To be fair, I've only really done two. Mm. I did the candy cane caterpillar eyebrows. They were not cool. I did not like I, They scared me. I started off on the live stream by trying to do like one eyebrow slit and it turned into doing about like eight on each eyebrow. Yeah, it was not nice. No, people thought I was serious about it as well. Yeah. When I was live. Honestly, I thought you were. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> but people thought I'd actually like, slit them. Oh. Yeah, like oh, actually no. properly slit Where'd them. Would you use concealer? Yeah. Oh. I concealed my eyebrows. And then I did another video where I did like super thick eyebrows. And she Yeah, didn't, that one was an ick. She didn't like them. No. I actually, later that day, I went upstairs and I was talking to my mum about something and I don't remember what it was. I was like upset though. And I was like cuddling her and she like looks at me and she like takes a step back and like kind of tilts her head. And I was like, I didn't realize what she was looking at until I went downstairs and I realized I'd had these thick caterpillars on my (laughs) face, like really poorly done, like 2015 eyebrows. Yeah, like. Those typical, what's what's the videos on TikTok that had the, the Manchester, oh, like the... The British popular girl yeah, ones. Yeah, like those kind of videos. I love those videos. Yeah, they're good. They're so funny because they're so realistic. Let's do one. That'd be so funny. We actually should. You know, I always thought that that kind of makeup and that kind of like... Um, don't say it. Comedy. No, don't say it. It's like... No, 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 no. Oh, I thought you said the makeup was good. No, <laughs> was, it's not. It. No, absolutely not good. <laughs> but I didn't know that they actually acted like that until I met one. True. They, they do actually act like, act like that. Really? Yes. Yeah. I'll be like stalking someone from England, like through TikTok. Mm. And I'm just like, oh my God. They I don't think I've like ever this. seen that. No, I don't think I do. want to. I will send it to you. Please you guys, don't. <laughs> do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like those, the ones that have like the orange makeup and the really thick eyebrows, they're like... Oh, yeah, road men. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Was that supposed to be British? They call them road men. And they always chew with the gum, like, really loud. Yeah. Yeah. ASMR. ASMR, guys. What would you do if I started an ASMR channel? Block it. Oh. (laughs) Well, I could be really good, actually. I love watching ASMR. Yeah, you could. I watch a lot of good ASMR. I think you should do one one time, see how it goes. I definitely think I should. I watch a lot of ASMR, guys. It's actually, like... Asthma. She calls it asthma. asthma. It's spelled like asthma. And then she calls asthma ASMR. Yeah. It's pretty... What are some other weird things that you call things? We shouldn't. We shouldn't get started on that topic. Oh no, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of different things. Kels Kels is a little oddball, but we love her, don't we? I hope so. <laughs> of course. But no, I wanted to talk about a topic on this live, and I wasn't sure what kind of topic exactly, but I kind of wanted to go into. Um, crushes like because we get a lot of younger viewers on our tiktok yeah and they are often talking about like having crushes on girls and like how to approach girls advice and all that kind of stuff Yeah. yeah people are wanting advice on relationships and i feel like I feel like I have the best advantage here in this situation because i have an ex player mask as a girlfriend 
no. Yes. <laughs> it took my brain a second. I was like, who? Yeah, you, you, <laughs> me? The way you didn't process that that was talking about you. I was like, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, she's a little bit slow, but it's okay. It's me. And we have, we can now ask you questions and we can get inside awesome. the mind. Great. Looking forward to this. Yeah. I'm not even scared. How do you go? <laughs> That's so funny. But no. Okay. So we had a great question on our live stream actually that I wanted to like touch upon this again. Also, guys, we got banned from going live on TikTok. Probably just because we're gay because TikTok's homophobic. TikTok is very homophobic. I'm not going to lie. Completely adding it right now. It's very homophobic. Yeah. We always get banned. But we got permanently banned this time. Yeah. And there was actually a lot of videos that we've seen of like just girls in bikinis and just complete nudity. Shirtless guys, like mm. weird things like that. Um, not saying that shirtless guys is weird, but they were doing weird things. Weird. Yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, but then two lesbians can't talk on a live, not doing anything wrong because Literally. we got banned for harassment and nudity apparently. Yeah, when we were fully so closed. naked. Like yeah, literally, completely, guys. Oh we were like God. stripping on the live. It literally, was, it was a so show. Naked. <laughs> it was a show. But anyway, honestly, if we did that, they probably wouldn't care. No, not at all. They'd be like, "Oh my God, so hot. Let's mm. keep them on." Yeah, facts. I've I've seen lives of people getting changed on lives yeah. and twerking. Uh, literally, there's lives of like girls twerking wearing yeah. bikinis. Like, it's, it's so, so mess. So bad. It's so double standard. And straight people can kiss on there and yeah, do their thing. But yeah, not us. No, never, no. never. But, um, no, the question that we actually got on the live was, oh, my God, what was it? Um, how can you tell if someone is a player mask mm. or, like, like or even, actually yeah, into you? like, if they're a player or if they're into you, basically. Because mm. mm. I guess there is that stereotype where um, masks are players. Oh, God, yeah. Especially some that, like, really have that ah-ha-ha personality. I know so many masks that are players, though, as well. Yeah, like, it's bad. So it is hard to know if they're genuine because there is such a thing as love bombing. Like, yeah. love bombing, I feel like, happens so much in the lesbian community. Even oh, like, yeah. Even with, like, straight couples and stuff like that, but especially with lesbians. I see that, yeah. Because there's, like, you haul lesbians and player masks yeah. and, like, not just player masks, but, like, oh. players <laughs> and, like, all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. So it is very prevalent and like how is that big word? I know. Well, I know what it means. It, <laughs> what it means? Do you actually know what it means? Kind of. <laughs> it means like strong. Strong. It's very there. Yeah. 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 Good I knew job. A plus. We baby. just fist bumped for everyone listening yeah, on Spotify. Fist for everyone. No. Okay. <laughs> let's move on. How do you know when someone is playing you or when they're being genuine? I'll start? Yes. Well, um, as I said on the live, I guess you can kind of tell <laughs> – I lost where I was at. Was... You can kind of tell <laughs> – What was the question? And then blank. How can you tell if someone's playing you or being genuine? Like oh, what, right. what are the telltale signs? Um, I guess like if they actually put in the effort and have the time for you um, or if they're only going to message you like late at night or for yeah. certain things, like, you know, kind of wanting that sexual stuff or – you know, just just trying to flirt. Like if they're actually like, oh hey, like let's go for coffee. Let's let's go. Mm. Like, I don't know. Let's call. Like I feel like a big thing in that is if they want to hang out during the day. That yeah, that's what I mean. Like mm. if they're if they're trying to call you after hours and stuff, but not through the day or anything like that. Yeah, like checking up on you. Like people can message you at like ten p.m. being like, hey, how's your day? And then yeah. nothing more. And I mean, if you do hang with them and they're on their phone a lot, or if they're but like, they take forever to respond to your messages. Yeah, that's a that's a red flag. Mm-hmm. That's a red flag. When right they're there. on their phone, but takes so long to respond to your messages. That's a red flag. Big red flag. Massive. Guys. Watch out for Pet that. Pet peeve too. Pet peeve. Absolutely, I agree with that. Mm. I always pay attention to that. Yeah. So I think things like that, and like I guess their body language and the way that they are towards you and the way they talk yeah. to you and stuff. Like if they're polite and or you know if they're just like yeah whatever like shut you down then. Mm. They might only want the one thing, but... But then also people can be very convincing and almost string you along and make you believe that they want a relationship Yeah. for so long. So I've actually heard about this thing called the three-month rule. Yeah, yeah, that's a real we popular were, one. Yeah, yeah we one. were watching videos on it the other day and it's like, give yourself... I believe this is what it is. Three months to, like, learn who the person is. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, it's something like that because they say after three months the person, like, shows their true self or becomes yeah. who they are kind of thing. You can only mis- ma- you can only maintain a facade for, like, so long. Yeah. 
Is it facade or for? I always thought I always thought it was facade, but it's facade. Ooh, I think it's facade because I don't know facade. Okay, it's still uh-huh. facade, guys. I'm just having a moment. making your own dictionary over here. I'm making my own dictionary, <laughs> but yeah, people can only maintain that facade for so long. Like three mm. months is the rule, and I know with a lot of like narcissists or um, sociopaths and stuff yeah. like that, they really struggle to keep that like face on yeah definitely to you and i know a lot of players are often narcissists yeah i've noticed definitely be like a big thing and i guess because they get that kind of like they get the attention yeah well they because they because they like the attention and stuff and um obviously yeah yeah Yeah. narcissists are scary oh yeah how do you know if someone's a narcissist well that's a tough one. We were actually trying to Google this the other day, but I feel like every time you Google something online, you kind of like self-diagnose yourself. Yeah. So when I was Googling about narcissists, I was like, oh my God, is this me? <laughs> my mum even did that one time. She's like, am I a narcissist? No, she's the least narcissistic person I've ever met. She she's is the beautiful. sweetest, most kindest Mom, giving Mum, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but she is just an absolute angel and she even questioned it from Googling it. Like, yeah. it is so easy to self-diagnose. It's because it's so broad though. It's not like mm. the diagnosis stuff with everything that you Google yeah. is always so broad. Oh, my God, especially sickness-wise. Yeah, oh, God, don't get yourself started on this. Oh, no, guys, it's bad. I am such a hypochondriac. She's not kidding. No, like, it's bad. Like, it is, guys, it really is. (laughs) It's bad. Like, I am, I will self-diagnose, like, everything under the sun, but then refuse to go to the doctors. Yeah. I mean, you do that too, kind of. You do it more. I do it a lot more than she does. Yeah. But, hey... We all have our quirks and flaws, don't we? <laughs> we so do. One of my many gems that I have. <laughs> but um, back to the uh, question about how do you know, like, if someone's playing you? Oh. What are some other points? Um, well, I definitely think if their phone is going off with, like, Tinder or a bunch of different oh, girls. Oh, God, or that's like... like a- you know, just the basic <laughs> obvious signs. Let's just throw them out there. That is quite obvious. Yeah. That is quite an obvious Yeah, that's one. what I mean though. Like if the phone's always mm. going off and like the like not really giving you the attention or if they're always busy like with other people, like other girls. Yeah. And they like blow you that off kind of way, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. Or, sorry, real quick. Yeah. If they only want to see you when it suits them. Oh, yes. Yes. yeah, I think that's a good one. Instead of not I'll making any that. of that compromise. Absolutely, 10 points out for that. Oh, thank you. 10 yeah. points? Yeah, 10. Oh. Maybe I'll make it 11. Stop, yeah. you wouldn't. Okay. Challenge accepted. 11. I love you. That's hot. <laughs> I love you too, baby. <laughs> don't say I don't treat you good. What? What's it Give doing? Me an extra point. <laughs> Help me. I'm bringing out my inner player. Is that what that is? Yeah. Why'd you do the old cowboy like? Town ain't big yeah. enough for the bubble covers. She brought out the finger guns, guys. I did. Finger blast. <laughs> I just... don't know what just came out of my mouth, guys. At least like that. No. <laughs> oh, no, guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway. when people don't <laughs> hang out with you during the day, text you not much. I mean, text you, but like, ugh. I guess the way they talk too, because some people, it's hard to tell because some people, I guess, do talk a little bit more in, in depth mm. and in detail and other people are a bit more blunt. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're the one trying to start the conversations, if you're the and one carrying it, yeah, carrying a message in first or being like, yeah. oh, how are you? How's your day? And they're just kind of like, yep, good. Like, yeah. You, like, like really blunt but short answers also yeah. don't get it confused by people who, who genuinely talk like that or if they're busy <laughs> yeah a lot of the time people can actually be like busy and i know that we are so used to love bombing in this generation and like you hauling and like going so quick with re- relationships mm. i feel like we also need to like take a step back and also realize that if people aren't loving bombing us and are taking their time like it's not because they're not into us it's yeah. because they are are probably like very confident in them not confident in themselves but like know that yeah you know what i mean secure kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah 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 like they don't feel the need to have to overdo that like yeah love yeah. on that person like they want to build that gradually yeah so it's it, it definitely there are definitely different types of people in the world like there are the yeah. love bombers not necessarily toxic but 
there are the overly affectionate people or there are other people who like yeah you know what I mean mm, yeah like yeah, I've I encountered quite a few people yeah, like that I, I have too yeah <laughs> yeah and I thought I was like oh my god they're not into me yeah. like they don't like me because they would just like take that time yeah yeah no that's true but I mean I actually thought that for a little bit with you really yeah but like now obviously now obviously I know but yeah even once we started talking more yeah and stuff. I was like oh hang on this is how she is like yeah. it's not it's and then you even stop re- well like you didn't stop replying to people but guys she sucked at replying but I'm so bad at replying no but she replied to me constantly like heaps and then when we would hang out like her phone would be going off but she would never be replying to anyone <laughs> and I would even like see her phone like a week later and be like still like she's not replying to anyone but she was replying to me and I was like okay this is just how she is like Literally. she likes me because I'm getting the attention like. yeah like I do not respond to anyone guys it's so bad and it's it's just because I get honestly anxious about the messages mm. like it gets overwhelming and I'll have like a bunch of messages from like two weeks that just build up and I'm just like yeah and then oh once you reply everyone replies back so quick yeah so I just freak out and it just gets too overwhelming yeah. and like I always try my best to respond to people like who I can but sometimes I just like stress out and I get like really low social battery sometimes yeah and I'm often so busy like editing as well like I love just like yeah doing my doing little your thing, thing. <laughs> <laughs> we sound like a bunch of Basic white chicks just then. Is this not girl talk? Doing your thing. Slay. Yeah, but it doesn't. Just I don't know. I'm a mask. I don't know, guys. I I don't, well, I must have. Am I a femme now? Because this is mm-hmm. called girl talk. For I mean, girl I am talk. a girl, but this feels very feminine for a mask like me. For girl talk, we instantly transform into femmes. Well, what? I am a femme, but. Yeah, you, yeah. I am a femme. Why do you bite <laughs> your lip at that? Because <laughs> you're femme, that's hot. I don't know. I'm scared. Guys, help. Is there anything else on the topic of like love bombing or? Um, kind of stuff? I don't know. I just know that people need to like watch out for love bombing because yeah. I know that it is so common in dating and like seeing new couples like posting each other like so so much yeah. and like going over the top like. Yeah, like trying not not trying to, like out love each other but in a way like I don't know if that's the right word maybe that's not the right word but you know what I mean like super super like oh my my little schnookums my cupcake my my honey my little baby two months with you amazing like I don't know like some of them just go a little bit overboard yeah I think I agree I'm probably one of them like with the shit we post yeah but I'm okay with that because it's you yeah see I agree with that so it's like, I feel like it's different. Oh my God, guys, I'm caught in a yeah, stir right I was, now. I, was <laughs> I can't break out of it. Okay, I'm free. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just feel like, wait, what are we actually talking about? Like I just love sat- bombing and stuff? Oh yeah, love bombing. <laughs> yeah, no. So guys, just keep your wits about you when it comes to love bombing. And mm. if someone's taking it slow, don't take it as a red flag. Yeah. Just take it as it comes. It is hard too though when people... They're not love bombing, but mm. they are like giving heaps and heaps. I know that I give a mm. lot of attention and affection, but mine's been obviously consistent. Yeah, yours is maintained. Whereas like, I don't know, like that's what I mean, I guess for me almost on your behalf, it could have seen like that at the start. I thought it was love bombing. That's really? why I, I think was you have so this. Yeah. slow. I was so cautious. Yeah. I would, guys, so slow, but she was like one and a half weeks. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about slow. Why but... do I laugh and fuck boys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no. I feel like next episode we should talk about like ha- our thoughts on each other when we first started dating. Please, that is so Let's fun. Let's do that. Let's because, do it right after. Yeah, I was really I was really scared of you. <laughs> no. Not, not scared, <laughs> but I was just like I I don't know how to explain it. I was just you, so cautious. You had of your, you. Yeah, you had your guard up. Yeah. That's valid. I thought she was such a player, guys. And I thought she was a little bit of a player. I'm not even going to lie. It turns out she's quite the opposite. But No, I am like the most frigid person you'll ever meet. Valid. It's so bad. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah, I guess um, people like me that do show a lot of love, it can come across. Like, obviously, it stayed the same, like, and consistent yeah. and, like, but definitely at the start it can look like that. Yeah. If if they do like stop doing that, then obviously that is love for me. And if they turn to like start like criticizing you and so like mm. nitpicking certain yeah. things that you're doing and then like I don't know, you're kind of like starting to become insecure and you're just like, Oh my god, like What about another thing like to do with love bombing, real quick? Yeah. Um is like if they're not really affectionate 
or like lovey and stuff like that. They don't really do like gifts and everything. Yeah. But then suddenly they start doing it. Do you think that almost is a red flag? Because like, have mm. they done something? Because you know when people do stuff and then they're like, oh, quick, I got to give extra love, give gifts and everything. Because it comes out of nowhere. I guess, but then it could also be if that is their partner's love language, they could be trying and they could be putting in that. Yeah, effort. I mean, let's go, let's go. Nothing happened. Like no, nothing was said. It was just a normal relationship. But this person wasn't lovey, or, like wasn't overly affectionate and then they start sharing and presence and affection and love are you implying like it's just for this one burst of time and then they go back to not doing it yeah 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 oh then i would definitely have my wits about yeah yeah see it's hard too because i know i know people that are like that really yeah Yeah, i definitely think that means then something's happened wait i feel like we should talk about this on the next episode next one yeah we'll carry this over all right Already. I reckon we'll wrap up this episode because we've hit 20 minutes now. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So thank you so much for listening, guys. I hope this episode was not too ADHD and all over the place for (laughs) you. Hope it was entertaining. But um, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.